everyone who's watching this video. Um, in today's video, I just wanted to try to give some words of encouragement to anyone out there who might have a rough job. Maybe they work for a really bad manager or something. I just want to encourage anyone out there in the world that if you have a job like that, especially if you have a job like this where you work at Taco Bell or a fast food place, don't ever sell yourself short. Because at the end of the day, a manager who works at these places generally are not the most intelligent people. And not only that, but they generally are people who hate their lives. All right. And the reason why I say this is because I worked at a Taco Bell for the last three weeks, just part time, just trying to make some extra money. And I actually got snuffed at this job pretty, pretty hard. Um, the managers did not want to work with my health conditions. I have really bad eczema. They were trying to force me to do the dishes, which I have no problem doing hard work. I, I got I have no problem with that at all. I have no problem doing dishes at my home either, you know, like I got to clean the stuff. But when I got to put my hands in, in uh, water that has detergent in it for long periods of time, I get rashes everywhere on my arms and my hands break out and they crack and I start bleeding. It is terrible. And they did not want to work with me. They made my life a living hell. Every night that I worked there, the manager was incredibly rude to me. Um, I was a new hire and they wanted me to work the window completely by myself. I was struggling one night to work the window and I kind of snapped and you know, like I, I didn't mean to, but at the end of the day, how I look at this is that this isn't the job for me. This probably isn't the job for you. And if it's not the job for you, my thing that I want to tell you right now, don't sell yourself short. You're a better person than that, and you don't need people working in the crappy food industry or the crappy fast food industry to tell you otherwise. And if you don't believe me on that, that's okay. Because one day, you will find that there are more opportunities in life than you ever thought. And I just want to say with much love to everyone who sees this video, that if you lost a job in a shitty way because a manager couldn't work with a health condition that you have, don't ever feel like it's your fault because at the end of the day you are better than that and you are a good person anyways guys much love i hope i can get another part-time job soon uh i currently got investments going and i got other things i just can't pull the money on it yet because i'm waiting for those bonds to mature um so right now financially speaking i'm struggling i'm going to be starting my youtube channel up again soon I just need to get some software and I need to get myself another computer. And once I do that, I plan on uploading those South Park videos again. So if anyone out there loves those South Park videos, let me know. Drop a like on this video, comment, tell me an experience that you had at your job. I'd love to know because honestly, I kind of want to start putting fast food places on blast. You know, this fast food place that I worked at, by the way, and another thing that I would actually like to end this video with. If anyone is out there who buys fast food past 10 o'clock at night, you're either high or you're drunk and you're crazy. Because, and the reason why I say this is because something that none of you guys might realize in the fast food industry is that they do not follow health standards late at night. We leave our pans open. We don't close them at Taco Bell. The managers break down the lines at 10 o'clock at night and they put all of your food that they put in your burritos in plastic bags. You want to know another thing this Taco Bell did that was very sketchy and that I wish I could have uh, reported to the health department? At night, when we take all of our extra food, the hot food that was on the line, right? We're supposed to take that food and we're supposed to put it in bags and then we're supposed to put it in an ice bath for, I believe, a minimum of 20 minutes. You want to know what this Taco Bell does? They take a sink of water and they drop the bags in the sink of water. They don't put any ice in there. So your food that you're getting the next morning that they're using during the daytime is from the previous night, didn't get cooled off properly. And if you ever get food poisoning or mild food poisoning at a Taco Bell location, especially during the daytime or at nighttime, this is why. So if there's anyone out there that would like to call me out for that, go right ahead. I don't care. I've worked at three different Taco Bell locations over the last 12 years of my life. In every single location I've worked at, did the same exact thing. And you want to know why they do it? They do it because the managers are lazy. 
they can't get enough people on nights to work for them because they're rude. And they want to just get out. They want, they want the clothes done within a half an hour of the clo- store being closed, an hour at the most, and nobody there is going to pay you extra money to do an hour and a half clothes on a business. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Stay away from fast food. That's my advice. Have a great day, though.